something to then to ask the question that I'm sure everybody here wants to know, and that is, did you ever try to bust a myth and the experiment went horribly around? Did your mother ever tell you that that crappy sugar cereal you wanted her to buy was um, less nutritious than the box it came in? <laughs> so we, we thought this would be great to test. Yeah, so there we had three cages of mice. Three mice in each cage. Three mice in each cage. One eating regular mouse food. One eating sugary cereal. And the other eating some creatively ground up and molded. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is where I came into play. You know, I get a, get a blender and you get the cardboard box, you rip it up just a little bit, and you add some water to it, you put it in the blender. And I figured I took something like Splendor, you know, some non nutritive sweetener in there that would maybe make it a little more tasty for it, but it wouldn't actually give them any nutrients. Turns out my sick actually can't taste nutrisweet, but anyway. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> and so I get this like gray mush and I, and I, I start to shove it into a tube and extrude out these little, you know, the cylindrical pellet-like things. They look kind of like mouse food, and we let them dry, and then we put those in the cage, and uh, along with the, you know, or in the one cage that we had uh, the uh, unlucky mice. <laughs> on a Friday afternoon, it's, you know, it's his shop, so he's the last one locking up. He just goes down to check on the mice. Yeah, and I'm, I'm looking at the mice, and, you know, I want to make sure that they at least have water and stuff, you know, Everything was cool, and the, the mice, every, everything was fine, and everybody looked all right. But the mice in the cardboard food cage were, I don't know, they were they were just a little jumpy, and I could, you know, I'm like, well, they're, of course they're not very happy because they're probably really hungry. They didn't look, you know, it, was, it, was, it wasn't long enough that, that they got, you know, all skin and bones, and they were looking really sad. They looked just like the other mice, but they were jumpy until Monday. <laughs> when we come in and we find in the cargo, the other two cages are fine, but in the cargo box cage, now there's only one mouse and he's really well fed. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.